So honestly, I thought strawberry milk was a lot like the other things I loved as a kid. Something that was artificially manufactured in a lab and couldn't be made at home. I got kind of curious about this this week and actually saw that it was possible to make this from scratch and from fresh strawberries. Now the version I made was surprisingly similar and in fact I would argue even better. So today let's make some strawberry milk from fresh strawberries and avoid some of the pitfalls I've seen in online recipes. Most recipes I've seen recommend cooking the strawberries in a simple syrup as you would if you were for example making a strawberry jam. Now the problem with this is that heat triggers complex enzymatic reactions that really mess up the color and give us that not so appetizing brown tinge that you see in strawberry jam. We don't really want that in our strawberry milk. The strawberry milk that we're going for has that nice pink pastel color. So let's just jump into how to make this. Now the first thing that we're gonna need to do is make a simple syrup. This will not only sweeten the strawberry syrup, but it'll also help maintain that proper color and kind of slow down that enzymatic reaction. To do this, we need equal parts sugar and water and we're gonna heat the two up until the sugar dissolves. I really wasn't sure how much sugar I was gonna to need to sweeten the drink, so I kind of went overkill and added about 150 grams of sugar and 150 grams of water for my version. In the end, I only ended up using about half of this, but if this still seems high to you, don't worry. The benefit of making the recipe this way is that we can kind of fine tune how sweet it is at the final step. All right, so as I said before, we're just gonna heat this up until all of the sugar dissolves, and once it does, we can pull this off to the side while we prep the strawberries. So I'm using about one pound or about 450 grams of strawberries here and what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to hull them or essentially remove the core where the leaves are attached you can do this using a fine pointed knife and you just kind of go around and then you can pull the leaves along with that little bit in the middle all in one go once you have hulled the strawberry you can cut it up into quarters and we really don't need to worry about being exact here we're just gonna repeat this process on all the strawberries and actually if you're feeling lazy you can also get by by just removing the tips like this although to me it kind of feels a little bit wasteful once we're done getting the tops off the strawberries it's time to actually work on juicing these strawberries. To do this, we're gonna to wanna to crush the berries to release the juices. And I'm using a sieve over a bowl, and I'm gonna use my pestle to kind of crush up the strawberries. But if you don't have a pestle, a wooden spoon, or one of those French style rolling pins, or maybe you have one of those muddlers for making cocktails, any of these tools will help kind of crush up the strawberries. We really wanna just break down the cell walls, releasing the juice into the bowl. And to help facilitate this juice extraction, we can also add about a tablespoon of granulated sugar, and and the hard crystals from the sugar will help kind of break down those plant components that hold the juice in. Now this is a little bit labor intensive, but after a few minutes of doing this, we're done. We should see that we have over a cup of strawberry juice here. Now, one optional step here that I didn't do is if you have some cheesecloth or a finer sieve, you can use that to filter out the juice to remove any seeds that may have gotten through. I didn't have really either at the moment, so my strawberry milk has a little bit of a rustic characteristic to it. At least that's what I'm telling people. All right, so now it's time to add in the simple syrup to our strawberry juice. And I recommend adding the syrup little bit by little bit to ensure that you don't add too much. Keeping in mind when you're tasting this that the syrup should be sweet on its own. So to really get a good gauge of how much sugar to add, you really should attempt to add some amount of sugar and then kind of mix it with milk and see if it's too sweet or not sweet enough. As a reference point for my one and a quarter cup of strawberry juice, I ended up using 75 milliliters or about one third of a cup of simple syrup, which as I said before, turned out to be half of what I made at the beginning. Although you should keep in mind that your strawberries may have a different sweetness and also what's good for me may be too sweet or not sweet enough for you. And that's completely fine. That's one of the benefits of making the stuff on your own. You really can fine tune it to play around and maximize for your own tastes. All right, so after you've mixed the sugar and you're kind of happy with the amount of sugar that's in the syrup, it's time to actually make the strawberry milk. So to do this, we simply need about one to two tablespoons of our strawberry syrup along with a glass of milk to give it a stir. And obviously this will also go really well in a plant-based milk as well. So dairy milk isn't necessarily a prerequisite for this. But honestly, that's it. It's it's a really was kind of an easy recipe. The syrup was really awesome. It can also go on ice cream and it had that perfect, really that nice taste. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys are all doing really well during this time. And thank you for watching. Bye.